Right now we're going to add uh, one of the other common forum. I'm sorry, one of the other common activities called a forum, or also known as a discussion board. So we just go right here, click forum. I've turned editing on, and it shows up adding new forum, and I'm in week eight. And give it a name. I can, uh, for example, uh, say, um, talk about your experience um, with the homeless interview. Interview. And then there's a couple different forum types. A sim single simple discussion would be sort of one question with everybody answering. Um, I like each person posts one discussion for assignments because then it keeps each person has their own and then our reply and students can reply to each other but they sort of each own one thread. Q&A forum means you can post a question um, but you can't see other people's answers until you've posted that question. So that's interesting uh, but a little bit confusing and it's a, still under a little bit of development. And then a standard forum for general root use allows anyone to post as many times as they want and anyone to reply which is great for class Q&A. So each person posts one discussion, I'll do in this case. And then I can say, uh, based on your recent field, field work, um, reflect on the experience. And you could also link this to other instructions or anything like that. We have a couple of options here. Do you want to force everyone to be subscribed? In other words, do you want them all to get emails from this forum? I tend to put yes initially, so they'll all get emails to know something's going on. Yes forever does not allow them to unsubscribe, and subscription not allowed means they can't, which forces them to log in in order to read the material. They can't get it in their inbox, which might help you with your statistics. Um, but I'll put yes initially. Do you want read tracking on? I don't know why this defaults to optional. I, th I would think you would always want to know what you hadn't read, so I leave that, turn that to on. And then do we want an attachment size? In this case, I'm not asking for an attachment, so I'm going to say, um, whoops, I'm going to set that to be uh, uploads are not allowed. I don't want them attaching things. Now, I could change it. I could say um, also attach the required photo of your partner uh, with the interviewee. Here. So maybe they had to take a picture of uh, the person doing the interview or doing the interview and the interviewee. So in this case, we do have an attachment, so I'll change that to say uh, maybe 100K, 500K. And they might need a lesson on how to keep digital pictures small. Do we want a rating? Oh, actually, so when we, uh, we do want a rating, and I'm going to decide what kind of rating we want. In this case, I'm going to pick maximum rating, and that way, if I give them partial credit and then come back and review it and give them higher credit, it will take the highest number. If I want to penalize them, I could pick average. So if I give them partial credit and then full credit, it would pick the middle. So there's a lot of choices here, but I'll just pick maximum. Keeps it easy, especially if two people are grading. And the scale, in this case, I'll pick, uh, say, 25 points. And I might have a rubric. I could include the rubric here, or I could uh, have it linked somewhere else. And do I want to restrict postings to dates? I, if I check that, I can pick sort of the start and end dates. I'm going to leave that alone. And do we want to block that as well? And again, as with anywhere else in Moodle, you can click these questions and say, well, what is the time period for blocking? One day, two day, whatever. So let's look at what that, that says. The concept of man is so, so you can read about all of this. I don't want to go into those details but know that they're in there and they're worth experimenting with if you want to get fancy with your stuff. But this is just a basic setup. And these other settings are very much uh, almost, they're actually identical to everything else in the course. You can hide or show, but you can also do these things from the main, the main course page. So we can click Save and Display and that will show us what it looks like. It looks just like this and when a student comes they will make the first post by clicking Add a New Discussion Topic. So go back to the main page, and that is how to create a forum. And then as always, I like to indent it a little bit. Notice the icon is two faces kind of up against each other. 